Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe and welcome to what I believe are 5 ways that Valve could improve trading within the Team Fortress 2 community. Now don't get me wrong, I believe trading in Team Fortress 2 is great and there's not a huge amount of faults with it but here are just 5 ways that I think Valve could potentially improve a trading experience for the vast amount of users and reduce the amount of scams in the community. So without further ado, let's get into the first way in which I believe Valve can improve everyone's trading experience. So the first way I believe Valve can improve everyone's trading experience in Team Fortress 2, this especially applies to high tier traders. It would be, if any of you guys remember in the Steam sale when they released the little gem things, I believe you could just sell them on the market, but they would give you sort of stacks of gems, so there'd be like a stack of like 100 gems as opposed to having each individual gem in your inventory to stop it clogging up. So if there was a way we could maybe do this with refined metal or keys, so you could have like a stack of 20 refined or a stack of 10 keys or something, it would just make trading so much easier. Especially, let's just say you want to buy 5 keys for metal, it would save you having to click 100 individual refined items and believe me, that does hurt a lot guys, having to spam click each and every refined metal. So I believe if there was some sort of way you could just put all your refined or put all your keys in one big bulk as opposed to individually, that would not only uh, remove backpacks getting all clogged up and stuff, but it would save everyone's effort having to spam click the refined and the keys, or any item in fact. This even applies to scrap metal, to weapons, to anything that you have to click a lot of. So that is the first way I believe everyone's trading experience can be improved. Now next on the list was actually suggested to me by Spikey Mikey, but I believe everyone, uh, especially again the higher tier traders will agree with me when I say this, I've been thinking this for a while now, is to remove the cap of 40 pages for a backpack. The only issue here of course is having too many pages and not being able to fit in the HUD suitably, but essentially um, just to make the backpacks bigger and remove the item limit of 2000 items. This again makes hat trading a lot easier because there's a lot more room to store refined metal. It makes essentially every type of trading because there is more backpack space for you to store your items and generally I just think it would be a much more pleasant experience if you didn't have to worry about your backpack becoming full or clogged up with all different items knowing you have plenty more space to put them. Now this next one is more sort of centred around cash trades and again higher value trades that involve real world money would be to add verified accounts to Steam. This doesn't always apply to traders, this could apply to just big personalities in the community but if there was just some sort of way like on Twitter you have the blue tick, on Facebook you have the blue tick, if there was just some sort of way we could tell that we're trading with or talking with a official sort of person in the community this would remove a lot of sort of scams in the community especially if they verified sort of PayPal traders or like middlemen, just verified important people in the community that are known for trading big amounts. This would remove so many scams in the community and uh, give everyone a sense of comfort knowing they're trading with an official member of the community. Now the next way I believe Valve could improve the trading experience for most users would be if there was some sort of way where you could bulk sell items. This kind of does apply to the first thing I mentioned but if there was a way you could just somehow uh, for instance with crates or trading cards if you could just press one button and sell them all as opposed to having to sell them all individually. If there was just a button that just said sell all crates or sell all items of this kind for market price it would just make trading so so much easier and such less effort to get some quick money in your steam wallet instead of having to list each individual crate for uh, virtually no money at all one last way in which i think valve can improve trading experience for most users and remove the amount of scams happening in the community is if you can say how long a user has had their name so for example i know there is an infamous scammer in this community who impersonates Strife. I'm fairly certain he offers to do a cash trade and obviously the person thinks it's the real Strife so there's no possible way they'd get scammed if it was the real Strife. The person of course says yes and agrees to it thinking they're going to become famous from being on a Strife video and of course it isn't the real Strife. They give the person money or they give the person their unusual and the person just removes them or blocks them regardless of the fact he's actually marked on Steam Rep. People still do fall for this so um, if there was some sort of way where you could see how long a user has had their name um, and then if they've had their name for sort of quite a while then it's likely that it's going to be the real person. Um, that's just another idea of how I think they can stop scamming in the community, but I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys thought below, that's just about it for this video. If you did enjoy, please do remember to leave a like, and if you'd like to see more videos like this and general gaming content, then do be sure to subscribe.
That's for watching guys and peace.